Hi everyone, thank you for watching. So today I totally messed up my thumbnail. I was really rocking the natural long nails with just some the gel base and top coat. But um, I broke my nail completely off so I decided that today would be a good day to try um, to do acrylic nails on myself for the first time. So I have tried them before on a fake nail and it was a complete fail. I don't know if you saw that video. I'll try to link it. I don't, I'm not very savvy on YouTube stuff, but I'll try to link it in this video. Um, but yeah, that was a complete fail. So hopefully this time turns out a lot better. I'm going to be using the stuff that I got in my nail box um, subscription. So it's the nail couture, couture, I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> um, monomer and um, what's it called? Acrylic powder. And then I already have a brush and some other stuff that's needed. So we're going to try it out and see how it goes. And hopefully it's not a fail this time. If it is, I probably just won't post it. So <laughs> hopefully it works out or else I'm going to have a big mess before I have to go to work. So um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the video and just keep on watching. Alright everyone, so I've already prepped my nails. I just need to wipe them down with some alcohol. But other than that, I've cut them, buffed them, filed them, all that good stuff. So I'm just going to go through all the products that I'm going to be using in this video. Um, I picked up some Kiss Precision Nail Glue. I've had this for some time, but I've never opened it, so I just opened it. Um, I went through the tips that I own. Um, and so I have tips like these, which I think are better for gel extensions. And then these, which I believe are just like press-on nails from Kiss. So I think the best ones that I have for use are going to be these um, Kiss ones, so I'll just have to size them to each nail um, and things like that. Um, and then I have this nail brush. I believe I got it from Born Pretty Store a really long time ago. I kind of um, cleaned it out a little bit so that I can use it. I believe I used it in my last acrylic nail video where I failed. <laughs> so I have that. I have a paper towel so I can practice my... Um, ratio and then I have this kiss acrylic nail powder in clear and then also this um, acrylic system that we got in the this month's nail box so I'm gonna start off using this one and uh, for some reason it doesn't work I'll try out the kiss one and then I also have the pink magic monomer that we got in the nail box that I'm going to be using I have a small little dappen dish I believe I also got from born pretty store um, the Gelish pH Bond, which I'll be using to prep the nails. Um, IBD Dehydrator. And then just some professional ice purple alcohol that I believe I got from TJ Maxx. Yeah, TJ Maxx. So, those are all the things I'm going to be using. I'm first going to start off by sizing all the nail tips. I'll probably do that off camera so that you guys don't have to watch all that. And then I'll probably show me practicing some um, powder to monomer ratio before I start them on my nails. And then, yeah, we'll get all into it, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I sized up all my nail tips. I also cut them down quite a bit using, um, I believe they're called dog nippers, but I'm not quite sure. I believe I got these from Born Pretty Store as well. Um, so I sized them down with that, and now I just think I'm going to practice some of the um, powder monomer ratio um, before I glue the tips on. So like I said, this isn't the best brush, obviously. I'm not a professional. Hopefully, I um, want to be a professional soon. But I believe you just go like that. Wipe off the back. And then pick up a small bead. Yeah. It seems pretty good. Probably do that a couple more times. That one was a little bit wetter. Less powder on that one. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start prepping the nails. Um, I'm first just gonna wipe my nails off with alcohol. Like I said, I already did the filing and buffing and things like that, so I'm just gonna wipe all my nails off with some alcohol. 
Um, make sure there's no lint on it, which there is because I didn't use a lint free wipe. But um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and put all the tips on. Um, I'll probably do my thumb last and I'll probably start with my pinky on the... So I'll just put a little bit of glue there. And hold it down, probably hold down for about 10 seconds. It seems to be on there pretty good. It's still really long, so I might um, cut them even more before adding acrylic on them. Um, okay, so let's put on the next one. Wow, that's really long, actually. <laughs> so, let's add some more glue. I think there was enough glue on that one. Alright, so it was quite a struggle to get all these tips on, and they're much longer than I even expected. Some on my right hand are crooked, you know, my non-dominant, using my non-dominant hand. But um, I also decided these are still way too long and that I also want a rounded shape, so I'm gonna cut them down a little bit using regular nail clippers. And then I also grabbed my um, nail files for shaping after. So I'm just going to cut these down to a more reasonable length since I do have to wear them. Um, I do have to wear them to my job and I'm technically not allowed to have them so I want to make them look as natural as I possibly can. Um, right now they don't have to be perfect considering I'm going to shave them after. So far it's going pretty well, but I also haven't done any of the um, actual acrylic part, so <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um, I'll finish cutting these off camera as well. So I started doing the acrylic on my thumb and then I realized I forgot to buff the nail or even use any dehydrator. So I'm going to um, buff the fake nails, the fake tips, just to get rid of that shine that it could have on it and have it a little more blended in with the natural nail as well and after this I'll also use some more alcohol on it to get rid of that dust Again, I'm just filing like this on the um, fake tips, so I'm not filing onto my natural nail. And since these aren't um, regular tips that most people use with acrylics, it is covering um, a majority of my nail. Okay, and then I'll go back in with my isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol and just wipe these off to get rid of any dust and I'm destroying that okay and then let me take this out of the monomer um I'm also going to go in with my dehydrator and my pH bond, so I'm going to go in with the dehydrator first and just apply that to the nail. Um, I believe you only have to do it on the natural part of the nail, so I'm just going to do it. Okay, and now I'm going to clean out um, 
my acrylic brush just a little bit since I did get some dried acrylic in there. I'm just cleaning it out using the back of my um, nail clipper. I know many people use just an orange wood stick or a cuticle pusher. I just am too lazy to go grab one. So I believe I got all or most of that out. So now I'm going to go in and try to start using the acrylic and it's hopefully not a complete fail. Um, if any professionals who are seeing this have any tips on how to keep these clean, um, please let me know because on my I have two other brushes and they all just have hardened um, acrylic on it. So please let me know. Alright, I'm just going to try and pick up a bead. Looks like it is a little too dry. Yeah, I think I made that bead too dry and I think I need a larger bead as well. I'm going to try and pick up a larger bead. And there, that's a better consistency. But I kind of messed up with it originally. This big chunk right here is really bothering me. I think it's definitely easier to work with when it's a wetter bead. Um, so as you can see, this one is completely draped up. Hopefully I can redeem myself on the rest of the nails. Um, I don't really know how to fix that part. Probably just file it down or off. Okay, so on to the next one. Try to pick up a larger bead. Hmm. This is much more difficult than people make it look. So, so far, like I said, this is really bothering me right there just because it is a giant ridge. Um, hopefully file that down. And then this one is just a large space between it and the cuticle. So I'm gonna try and fill that in without getting too close to the cuticle, without flooding my cuticles, hopefully. Which it looks like I did a little bit.
so these are a hot mess i don't know how professionals do this and make it look so easy and i also got a mess all over me so i'm just gonna try and shape these as much as i possibly can to make them look um as natural as i possibly can So these are the finished result. I tried filing them as best as I could to shape them. Um, they didn't turn out very well. I mean, they're sturdy and steady and they're probably going to stay on there for forever and I won't be able to get them off. But um, shape-wise, not very good. Um, definitely better than my last attempt on the practice hand, but I kind of wish I did these on a practice hand first instead of doing them myself because... I have to walk around with these janky nails. So, um, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any tips for me, please let me know. I hope to start nail school in May. Um, I'm actually going to sign up for it next week. Um, so wish me luck. Hopefully it's a lot better once I'm taught. Um, thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe for more and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!